Warning! This podcast contains Nicole. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SC9 TV podcast for Pretty Little Liars, Season 7, Episode 5, Along Comes Mary. I'm your host, Dom. With me is Nicole. I don't know why you cut, You said it like a question. It's like, are you sure you're Nicole? Are no, you sure you're no, here? not you. I wasn't oh. referring to you. I was referring to the phone call that Arya received. Wait, was, was, was that you calling Ezra? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe because I want to out him for being a bastard. What? What? Yeah. Why is he... He's the one that went to Baltimore. He's the one that's still fucking with all of their heads. You think so? I think so. Because he went to Nikki's parents' place in New York. Oh. <laughs> Nobody knows exactly where he went. They just believe what he said because, you know, they're... They cleared the air with him back in the day because other people came up and was like, we're the bad guys. He's just sitting back there going, oh yeah, I'm still part of this. He was writing a book. I told you he was innocent that whole time, and you didn't believe me. That's a cover. Yes, it has a wonderful cover. Have you seen it? <laughs> a hard cover? Or yeah. a soft cover? <laughs> it's a hard cover, of course. So. Paperback? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But... Yeah, I don't, like, do you think Nicole's still alive? Uh, I don't remember how she allegedly died she just, in the first place. She went missing or something, like, kidnapped or, like, we never, yeah. we didn't get the whole story exactly, you know, but it seemed like she was, like, trafficked. Yeah. You know, and, and killed. Chances are she had a phone, and if she was trafficked, they have her phone, and they were calling everybody on the fucking list. Hmm. Maybe she, they're, they, maybe she is alive, and they just want ransom or something. I said last season when when we found this out during the season six B, you know, when when the the flash forward or the the time jump, I should say, when the time mm -hmm. jump happened, and then this was revealed, and when Ezra came back, and you know, he's like Nicole, blah blah. blah. I was like, no, she's still alive. Like, there's no body. We didn't see the story. I said, unless we see it in a flashback, she's still alive. Because you know how these TV shows work. If you don't see the body, they are not dead. Right? Yeah. So, from way back then, I was like, oh, she's alive. And now that is further complicating everything because Ezra just proposed to Arya. Yep. So, I mean, what... Did Arya even respond? Did she give an answer? No, you just saw her face. Like, she was in, she was in shock, mm -hmm. and then it cut to black, and the credits rolled. Right. So, no, there was no response um, from Arya. So, that whole, like, touching speech of, you know, how Ezra knew, and, you know, it, it was fantastic. Great job, Ezra. But, um, like, what is that all going to mean when Ezra finds out Nicole's still alive? Um, I mean, he wrote a book about their love. <laughs> it's not about him and Arya's love. It's about him and Nicole's love. Right. So it's like, um, if he felt that that much to write a book about it, Arya's still, she's back burner. You forget the first book that he was writing was about Arya. Yeah, but he scrapped well, it. No, it wasn't about Arya. It it was about Allie, but, you know. Yeah. He but didn't Arya write a book about Arya. Yeah. It, I mean, yeah, it's complicated. It's going to be complicated, obviously. I think... Is the proposal, like, still gonna be intact at that point? Because <laughs> I see it being like Arya... the, the Caleb and Hannah situation. It's gonna be like Caleb and Hannah situation. Because Arya knows that Ezra's phone got that call. She deleted the fucking call like a fucking jackass. Uh-huh. Um, so I don't know if she's going to say yes. I don't know if she's that much of a, a C-U-N-T to say yes. Wow. That's, yeah, I know. But, you know, she is the worst liar on the show. It's... <laughs> there was one point where... Um, was it Toby who asked her a question? And he's like, 
uh, where did, where's the paper? Where's the slip of paper? And she goes, we left it with Allie. Like she's, it was a question. <laughs> yeah. And em, you could see Emily's oh, face. Yeah, like, yeah. like you're really? stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's just gonna like, cause I mean, I, I get where it's coming from. Cause you know, um, you, you had the call, um, come to the phone or whatever. You're all by yourself. And then she called, Emily up, and Emily kind of explained the whole situation with her father, you know, and how the phone got sent out and accidentally... Who keeps a phone, like, on for that long, you know? Like, who, who keeps uh, well, paying the bill? You know, that, that's what I want to know. Someone grieving. I guess. Because, I mean, how long... I know it was like... Was it... Maybe it's a completely different show, but there was, at one point, you know, they lost a loved one. And they kept the phone on so that they could call and hear the voicemail. That was, um... Was it Toby? That was Vampire Diaries. Okay. But still, I mean, there's that kind of... That step of grieving, like, where you still need to hear their voice. You know, you you don't want to let go of things that were there. And and you also, for... You know, some people may want to keep the phone uh, so people that call it, they can inform them kind of thing, you know? So... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's that. I mean... It's not like he had a bunch of phones and stuck it in the car so that their his, their sons could pass on to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not get into that. Okay. No. No. No, sorry. Referencing another show, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I, like, I understand that, and Arya's just like, yeah, I don't want to, you know, worry him or, you know... But when you know <laughs> that nobody was recovered... You know, and everything, like, yeah, I get she's happy right now with Ezra, and, you know, they've kind of worked things out and figured things out, and they're in a good place, you know, right now, but that's still not something that you're going to want to keep. Like, you'd be like, no, that's don't you not think a... that was weird? Like, somebody's got her phone, you know, I, yeah. I answered it, and it was just a lot of background noise, you know? It sounded like someone was in a market, in a street yeah, market. exactly. And, you know... It's a, it would be a completely different thing if she was like, help me. Yeah. You know? But still, it's a call from that number in particular straight mm-hmm. to Ezra's phone, not Arya's phone. It's Ezra's cool. phone. That's his property. Don't fucking touch it. I don't care if you're, you've been married for a hundred goddamn years. That's his. Don't touch it. Don't yeah. delete shit. Yeah. I agree. <sighs> she's, she's really selfish because I, I think that she's... Getting to that point where, like, yeah, like you said, her and Ezra are in a good spot, and she doesn't want to lose him again. Yeah. I mean, they don't want to lose each other, you know? No. It's not just her, but, you know, so Ezra's like, I didn't want to keep this whole secret about Nicole's parents, you know, and they were worried. I wanted to let them know I'm moving forward, and they're happy for me, and, you know, all that, and he's like, I don't want to keep that from you. That felt terrible. Meanwhile, Arya's still keeping the secret about, you know... Uh, AD. Yeah. You know, killing Dr. Rollins, like, to herself, you know. <clears throat> They've done a, a pretty good job of keeping that wrapped up at this point, so. Pretty except, good job. Except Arya and Emily going to mess up the a freaking crime scene. Yeah. Like, there's, there's that. I mean, that's... There was... So, with everything with Dr. Rollins, we, like, the, the police found the car. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, they don't know about the burner phone, right? So we have Mona going over the burner phone, trying to find any details she could find out about that. Um, and then we find out that Rollins knew that Allie didn't kill Charlotte, Mm -hmm. right? But that leads to like, where the hell was he taking Allie in the first place? You know, why, why was he sneaking her out, driving her, you know, all that stuff and being really shady about it, you know? Um, and then... Who was that text message to? You know, the Arya instantly jumps on Jenna, but I'm like, why? Like, what? What does that have to do with her at all? You know, I, I don't understand what Jenna's motive would be for that. <clears throat> it the only reason why Arya is jumping, uh, like, you know, assuming that it's Jenna is because Jenna called, right, Archer, and she knew, like, she knows who Archer is. She doesn't. She knows him as Elliot, and Archer. So, yes, I mean, Arya can presumably 
target. She didn't know. Jenna. She didn't know that Jenna knew him as Archer, though. No, she did later. Because right. Allie mentioned it. Right. But. Yeah. So I mean, and then there was. Uh, they came to the same conclusion because. Uh, how did they find the apartment? I know how the police, how Toby found um, it. I don't remember how the <clears> girls found it. Mona tracked the text. That's right. Yeah, so it was 23 Wexford Street, apartment 109. I don't know if that's going to have any reference to anything later. Um, but it was basically a burner apartment. So it's like, not only does he have a burner phone, he's got a burner apartment. The The whole place is a mess. It's like a giant cover because, you know, Elliot wasn't a slop. No. To be honest, I think Elliot visited there, but it wasn't his apartment. I, don't, I, I feel like he rented it and, you know, it was just, it was his place, but... Like they said, the the mess was a cover, you know. Like they, you saw the passport stuff was in a plastic bag hidden in the sink, yeah, you know, under a pile of dirty dishes and you know everything. <laughs> so it's like stuff was deliberately. You're not gonna keep a, a thing of passports in somebody else's sink. You're gonna keep it in your own, you know. So I don't know. There was that, but then, you know, that's when Toby showed up, and it's just like, what the hell are you girls doing here? And they can't really say anything to Toby, because that's going to drag him into a, a, a tough predicament. And he, he is already. I mean, somehow he has to cover up their prints. Right. And his, his, so his new boss stupid. is... They're so stupid. Just gloves. <sighs> gloves, people. Have they not learned? I'm not trying to no. teach you how to commit crimes, but gloves. But yeah, his new boss is coming with a couple of detectives to clean the pl comb the place through and uh oh, you mean the one that spencer had her fingers through their hair yeah marco marco or is it marcus marco is it marco marco fury fury yeah the, okay what was it last week or no because we had a break so it was two ep it was one episode ago it was two weeks ago um spencer uh that's a, the guy Spencer made out with in the elevator, mm -hmm. you know. So, because she went to the police station looking for any, you know, sign of Caleb for help. And not only for help, she needs to talk to him about, you know, the whole situation. Caleb's gone. He's not in any of his usual spots. So, you know, she knows that Caleb and Toby are friends. Hannah knew nothing. She tried Hannah first. But Toby knows, but he's, he's not going to say. No. Oh. But that whole, help me, Toby Wan Kenobi, like... Can I, can I tell you how much I wanted to punch the, the TV? I wanted to puke all over everything. And you know what? Ugh. That was the first time I watched it. And I had eaten something before watching it. So I if I, I wanted to, but I didn't. Now, today, I rewatched the episode. If I had food in my stomach, it would have been all over the place. Ugh. It was it bad. Was, oh, and her face, and she's like, yeah, she even knew it was bad. But, like, why would you do that to us, please? God, it's not even funny. I don't, I don't it know. It was so bad. And the know. thing is, Mike, if you anybody else watches any of our other podcasts, he was at the other end of the room, and he overheard it, and he just about barfed all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm done. And he went upstairs. He's like, I don't want to hear this shit. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was pretty terrible. Bravo oh, for for having the balls to keep that in there, producers. Just oh, just saying. But yeah, um, no. and then we had you know Emily and Sabrina. You know they had their little date night thing, and that seemed to have gone well. Until, I don't trust like, her either. No. <laughs> I don't. You know what? I don't trust any blonde on the show. They're all freaking shady. Fair I enough. mean, Hannah, she's not a real blonde. Just saying. That's the only. That's the only Hannah's way. I'm a mastermind. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm you know what? You right now. Maybe she is, and I kudos to her. But the date seemed to go well. Like everything was good, and then you know it turned into Sabrina misinterpreting everything. It was literally just Emily being super distracted and like concerned about things that are going on. Like. Well, it's that, and like you know, she's like, "Oh, breakfast," and you're a morning person. She's like, "Oh God, what time is it? I gotta get to my." And she just rushed out of the house because she's going to miss a test. And Sabrina's like, I'm sorry, it was awkward, blah, blah, blah. No, she had a test to get to. Yeah, she had a test to get to on top of that. But then it was like the car, the little bump in, you know, thing when when she was delivering. Sabrina's supposed to be delivering, but she goes over and stops and talks to 
to Emily for a bit, and Emily's clearly in a rush to get somewhere with Arya, and it's just, like, this whole awkward situation, and it's, you know, she's distracted, because, like, AD did the test for Emily, mm-hmm. right, and scored pretty well, you know, That's so. why I still think it's Ezra. I don't think Ezra would be able to get away with sitting in a class like that. You don't have to. You can hack it in. You, if you have hacking abilities, you can do that shit. But they they were taking the test. Like I don't I don't know. Maybe I don't know. They were taking the test in the room. I'm looking in the room to see if there was anybody I knew. There was only four people you could see, and not any of them were familiar. And not that they no. would actually do that, but I had to look anyway. You know, because if if like Lucas was sitting in the back room, I would have just been like, "What the hell is going on?" You know, like. But why would he call her an ungrateful bitch? Lucas wouldn't, but no. just to throw us off kind of thing. You know, there is no there is no red herring characters in the in the test room, is my point. So Okay. Know. Um but then we had like a lot of stuff going on with Allison, right? So at the the very start of the episode we find out Allison's released. She's released under the care of Mary, her only mm-hmm. relative that's around right now because who the hell knows where Jason is. He couldn't make it, you know, apparently. Um and then they actually sit down and talk, and, you know, Mary explains how she thought that Allie uh, killed Charlotte, and how the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and, you know, all she wanted was the money that, you know, she felt she deserved, and, um, you know, um, she had no idea that Dr. Rollins wanted Allison dead, that's, you know, around the time when she stopped talking, you know, to it. Um, and then Allie's That's like, when she got the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, basically. And yeah. Allie has a conversation with Arya and, you know, the other girls later, and she's like, no, I, I believe her. I just don't trust her. Mm-hmm. I, I, I actually believe her, too. I do. I don't know. I really don't. Because it seems like she was set up the whole time. Like, even going back, like, remember the story about the babysitting and everything? You know? She was set up for that. Mm-hmm. You know? Because Allie's story. mom... Yeah. Is a... <sighs> she was. She was shady. So. But, you know, and, and um, Allison's just like, you know, all those lies that I told, you'd think I'd see Elliot coming from a mile away. You, yeah, you would have thought. He was very convincing, though. <clears throat> he was. Didn't I didn't think, like his face. I didn't think anything of him, you know, at the time. But, like, I'm starting to think, because, um, not to jump ahead, but... I know the synopsis, they're, they're starting to wonder if, uh, if Elliot's still alive, right, if he actually died or not, um, and I'm starting to think maybe he didn't die. I mean, they felt him, his pulse was, he was dead, he was... Well, I'm going back to the very beginning of season six, right, or the season six, uh, the, the time jump. Right. Okay. When we first remember, there was Allison was playing teacher. She mm. was writing Mrs. Rollins on the board. She, um, we haven't gotten up to that point yet. And all the girls came in, and then goes, "He's back," you know, or something like that, or "He's coming for you again," or something like that. It was something implying that it was somebody they knew was coming again. So that makes me think that you know, why else would she like? It's got to be. Like, recent, because she's still under the name Rollins. You know, all this stuff. So I don't know when that falls into the timeline. So I'm thinking it's still coming. Well, I mean... And now with all the debacle of, like, you know... uh, Having the last name Rollins and him not actually being a Rollins. And she, like, made it um, pretty, like, obvious to the Detective Fury that she wanted to be uh, referred to as Dilorentis again. Mm-hmm. But, like, I know that that's kind of like a flash forward, what we saw at the beginning of the season. So, was she not able to get rid of that name? Like, it didn't exist in the first place. I don't know when that piece actually falls into the timeline. It technically may have happened already, but we never saw it. So, I don't know where it fits in. And it, it it's sticking with me, so I don't, I don't exactly know. Because when it came back after the break, because that was, like, the final scene that you saw before it came back and then when right. it came back it didn't come back at that spot you know it, it, it was it was different so i don't know but you know mm-hmm. and then we find out that Allie's broke right she yeah 
She goes to the ATM and tries to get money out, and her account's frozen for insufficient funds. Um, and she's just like, everything is gone. Like, even my shares of the Karasimi group. And I'm like, what the fuck? I totally forgot about the Karasimi group. Like, the Karasimi group was in, like, last season? Four? Or okay. six? It was five or six. And... It was just, like, this mystery place that granted, like, Emily um, a grant to college, and they went and investigated, and, like, Jason had something to do with it, and some guy looked like Jason, and we were trying to, like, it wasn't Jason, clearly, but, like, they are like, doesn't he look a lot like Jason? Like, they, they were even questioning it, and that's when the whole twin theory was, does Jason have a twin, you know, kind of go, and they're like, he looks like a De Laurentiis, like, it was family or something like that. And we never found out what the hell the Karasimi group did or you know like what exactly it was mm -hmm. we don't know why allison would have shares of it and that's really bugging me because i want to know what the hell this, the karasimi group is you know so it's just like the fact that she mentioned that i'm just like what the hell is it like we still need to know mm -hmm. you know but then when you see mary's reaction to it you know, Allison throws the picture across the room. She's like, I can't sleep in here. She storms out. Mary picks up the picture of, of Allison and Elliot, or AD, or whatever. And she, like, looks at it, and she just rips it right across his face. So, if they were working together, she would have just, like, put the thing down and walked away. She probably wouldn't even have picked it up. She yeah. would have probably just went after Allie yeah. at that point. Yeah. So, I, like, this is where I say that I'm, I, I believe Mary at this point. Like, I 100% believe what she's saying. I don't think she's in on this at all. I think she was played as well. Yeah. I don't know. It's She's not blonde, so I I I, you know, I have a thing against blondes on this show. Yeah. They're all shady. And Mary was shady, but we knew she was. That was that's a difference between before like all of the other people like, you know, Mona shady, but we know it. That, that that's the difference. Yeah. And then... <sighs> the hell? You know, like, the the very end of the episode, uh, the, Allie gets her jacket back with a note that says, your friends gave me your dirty jacket, but I couldn't find a shred, shred of evidence. Mm -hmm. AD. So, like, if Elliot was not AD, which we know were his real initials, then who the hell is AD? Well, the only other last name that starts with D is De Laurentiis. Allison De Laurentiis. It's still, you know, like, everybody was like, A, A stands for Allison this whole time, you know, going through it. And now it's Allison's initials. Mm-hmm. You know, so. I don't know. And then we get that weird song that, you know, they were humming and the little sparrow song. And mm -hmm. I was like, what the hell? This is just a weird thing. It's like, if it's something that they, they did as a, a, they heard and listened to as a child, and, you know, learned, and then we get, like, a new version of it. I don't know if it's a real song. Like, obviously, that was a real song that was recorded, but I don't know if it was a song previously. You know what I mean? Ow. I don't know if it's an old song, is, is my point. Mm -hmm. You know, it seemed like something that was recorded for this episode. I don't know. It's just... <clears throat> I don't know. It it does seem a little out of place. Yeah. And then uh, finally, some of the most interesting thing that happened this episode was um, Jenna and Sarah Harvey had some interaction. You know, they they sat at the bar, they were talking, and then when we see them at uh, the uh, Radley, they're at the Radley and they're having a drink, and Sarah's like, "Who's who's the third drink for?" And then. None other than uh, Noel Khan comes in. And we haven't seen Noel since season five. It was season five, episode nine was the last time we saw him. And, and if you remember the beginning of season five, um, no, you, you will, as soon as I mention it. When Arya killed Jenna's uh, the assistant girl, whatever, like the girl that Jenna was like having a love affair with or whatever, she shot him in the, on the stage in New York. Remember that whole thing happened? She murdered her? Oh, you know, uh, yeah. Vaguely. Okay. Now, yeah, it's starting up. A little bit. Noel was there when the police 
came and they were like asking all the girls and everything where they were during Noel was there and vouched for them. Okay. That's the last he was he was in that was like episode 1 but he was in a couple, you know, episodes again later, episode 9, he was mentioned a few times since then, but we haven't seen him since season 5. So, it's been a while. Now, why is he with Jenna if he vouched for the girls? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. It's just, you know, wonderful timing that Jenna comes back, Noel's right around the corner, you know, and you probably don't even remember, but uh, Noel dated Arya in season one. I remember that, yeah. Okay. You know, then he got jealous of the Ezra. I remember the pizza and, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You know, so. I don't know. But yeah. I don't know, you have anything else for this episode? Any theories? I already said my theories. Like, so it's I think... <clears throat> no. I mean, I, I still think Ezra's involved. I think he has been for the very since the very beginning. Get out of here. Sabrina, I think she's in, up no. involved. She's trying to distract Emily because Emily's the one that's most focused on figuring this shit out. Spencer is distracted with Caleb. Hannah's distracted with all her shit because she's traumatized from hitting um, Elliot. She's trying to deal with her breakup with um, what's his face, and she has feelings for Caleb, so she's distracted there. Arya's distracted with the book, with Ezra and Nicole thing, and Emily's the only one that seems more focused on what's going on with Ad than the rest of her life, and the rest of her life is kind of a taking a, a you know, a back seat, and now. Sabrina's in there and she's just really awkward and I I don't know I know I maybe she is just an awkward person but like it just her actions like oh you she she misinterpreted you know she, I think she she knew that uh Emily had a test right yeah but Emily was acting weird after that fact she was and it was because of all the other stuff that Emily's stressed with you know the fact that AD finished the test you know and Ari is sitting there going I wonder what AD is going to make you do, you know, in order to repay the favor, you know? So she's stressed out, you know, there's a lot yeah, of stuff going that. on. They just murdered someone. They just mm -hmm. covered it up. She's super stressed. But I mean, anybody could tell that Emily was rushing to her car to do something. And Sabrina's like, hi, let's talk and like, take our time and talk about all the things. And like, we went to bed and had sex and all this jazz. And it's like, Even Aria no, was like, Aria's over that there. It was awkward. Yeah, exactly. So like, Anybody could tell that they had places to go. It would have been like, hi, talk to you later, bye. Mm -hmm. But no, Sabrina wanted to sit there. She wanted to talk about all the things. And it's like, not right now. Shit to do. Yeah. She, I think she's there for a distraction for Emily. That's what I think. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what, what uh, Noel khan has been up to. Um we, uh, but because, because we see Noel at the end of this episode almost makes me think we're not even going to see him in episode six, <laughs> you know, but they love to do that. They'd love to do that kind of stuff to us, but I know we're going to be getting more of him because, uh, in a future episode, like three, two or three episodes from now, the episode's actually called, uh, the wrath of, of Khan. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. A so, Star Trek Yeah, reference. Star Trek reference. So. Oh my God, that's terrible. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I think you just broke. You, like? You. No, you're broke. You left. You did. No, I'm not broke. Yeah, it's, I just uh, think it's hard. episode nine, The Wrath of Khan. So, we know, we know we're going to get more of him, you know, at that point. And I think Ed that's going to be the one before the, uh, the mid-season, so... But yeah. some, some those titles, some of them are just oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, next this next week's episode is called "Wanted Dead or Alive." Uh, mm -hmm. The ladies question if Rollins is actually dead as the police begin to catch on to their cover up. Ezra struggles with an awkwardness. Uh, Jenna reveals her new partner. Uh, Allie learns the girls named her as Charlotte's killer in order to free Hannah, and someone is murdered for playing with the wrong team. Oh, God. 
don't let no Mona, Miss Mona, don't don't do it to my Mona. No, Mona's already died once. Does does mean she's not gonna die again? No, someone's murdered. Uh, it's it's probably going oh. to be Sabrina. You think so? Maybe. You think she's involved that way, and she know. gets murdered? Maybe. Who knows? Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, it sure is. I can't wait to see who gets murdered next week. <laughs> Lucas. No. That baby it's Lucas. Be Caleb. <laughs> I'll be really upset. So I think that about does it. Nikki, where can the people find out who gets murdered? When watch when this freaking show airs. God. Oh. Oh, I thought you could find thought maybe me you on had Twitter. The inside details. No, I don't. I don't know shit about this show. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Lady Venom Twenty Four L D Y B N O M Twenty Four. Woof! You can find me down below at Phenomenon P H E N O M E D O M. You can find us all on Facebook, Gmail, G Plus, Twitter. <laughs> And right here on YouTube at Slash Azo TV Podcast, there's more podcasts with your favorite TV shows, games, and movies. Until next week. See you guys later. Wrap mm-hmm. <laughs> The other one was like The Darkest Night. Is that a Batman reference to The Dark Knight? <laughs> Seriously? Oh. Uh. Uh.